welcome so in this class we're just going to go ahead and design our main page okay and to do that we need to head over to our main activity xml all right so this is our main xml okay so the first thing will be to change this to linear layout linear layout I'm going to add the orientation to this orientation which should be vertical so the next thing will be to add our toolbar so I'm going to define a toolbar and to make it a container so that we can be able to add some other stuff inside of it okay so I'm going to say android.id I'm going to call this app main toolbar I'm going to set the height okay so to ensure that we don't go ahead and spend a lot of time you know typing out the code i just went ahead and type it all out okay so i'll just go ahead and explain it so these are layout height these are width and this is the background of our tuber all right so we are using our color primary so that's what we are setting as the background of our tuber and our the mean height is 52 dp and the team it's inheriting from a steam overlay dot app compile dot dark dot action bar this is actually said in such a way that if you're using a dark color as your background you probably want something that you wrote on your toolbar to be showing just like this okay so guys let's go ahead and do some other stuff so the next thing we need to do will be to design our go online button right you know before we got to this point i showed us how our main layout to actually look like right so we have a round button here okay that we're supposed to click to go online so that's what we're going to add in our toolbar right so i'm going to say button so just to ensure that we didn't waste more time typing out the xml so i'm just going to explain so this is go online we use go online button as our id so the background was set to our uber round button okay which is what we use in our login and registration activities as well you know just to give it this very nice looking um, edges okay so we now have our layer gravity to center which is to make it centered and also the text is go online which is what we see here and the width is 100 dp and the height is 30 dp so we actually want the button to have more reduce than it has currently right more corner reduce so i'm going to go ahead and make a new drawable that will actually be using as a background for this particular button right so i'm going to go to my solution explorer go to my drawable and i'm going to make a copy of this and paste here all right so it creates a copy for me so i'm going to edit this so i'm going to add underscore online so we actually won't be doing much here all right we are just going to go ahead and increase the width of our stroke instead of having it as one dp we're going to have it as two dp right because we want to add some stroke to it okay the color of our stroke needs to be different we're going to be using uber dark ash but i'm not so certain that we define this color so let's check our color the xml and show that we have this Okay, so we have it already defined, dark ash, okay? So let's proceed, let's go ahead and complete um, this XML, okay? So I'm going to have the same thing here. I'm going to increase the stroke to 2 dp, and the color of my stroke is going to be Uber dark ash as well. So now the last thing we want to do will be to increase the radius from 5 dp to 20 dp, you know, just to ensure that it has more curves, okay? So let's go ahead and do the same thing here. So let's save this file and go back to our main design. I'm sure this will resolve anytime soon. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add underscore online. So when we build our project, this will definitely resolve, but for now, let's continue with other things. So the next thing we need to do will be to define a new relative layout, okay? The layout height will be height will be equal to match parent. And the layout width will be also match parent. Will also be match parent. 
Okay, so inside of our relative layout, we're going to have a view pager. A view pager will help us hold our different fragments that we have. Because from the design, we are going to be having four fragments, our home, our earnings, our ratings, and our accounts, okay? So guys, let's go ahead and add a view pager. So I'm going to say android.support.v4.view.view pager, okay? So some attributes, I'm going to set the ID. So I'm going to call this view pager. The height will be match parent. The width will also be match parent. So before we go ahead and complete the XML for our view pager, we need to define our bottom navigation view. For the sake of this class, we are not going to be using the default bottom navigation view that comes with Android support design library. We are going to actually download a special bottom navigation view that we'll be using for this particular class. The reason is because the one we're actually going to download as a Nugget package, you know, comes with a lot of other customizations, which the default bottom navigation view doesn't have, which, you know, makes it more convenient for us to go ahead and use the third party bottom navigation view. So let's go to our Nugget Packet Manager. So we, we are going to search for Nazam dot et it annual <laughs> what's a very way <laughs> this name is actually weird most times i find it very difficult to pronounce so this is the one we're actually looking for bottom nav extension okay so we're just gonna go ahead and install this extension okay okay so this has been installed successfully I think a lot of people actually make use of this extension. As you can see, it has 36,000 downloads, okay? So guys, let's go back and continue the design. So at this point, it's appropriate that we'll build our app so that we can know where we are at this point, okay? So let's build the app before we continue the design. Okay, so our build is successful, all right? Well, it seems something has happened to our design. Okay, so let's close this and reload it again. So this is actually a way of resolving that issue. It's actually not an issue per se, but so that you can always see your design while you are typing your XML. Okay, so guys, before this comes up, let's go ahead and continue. So we need to now define our bottom navigation view. So I'm gonna say, come. So guys, this is actually the bottom navigation view extension that we just installed. So that's the one we are actually going to be using, okay? So I'm going to say, I'm going to give it an ID. I'm going to just call it BMVE. So bottom navigation view extension. I think that serves it very well. Layout width. It should be equal to match parent. And draw the layout height. Which will equal to wrap content. Android dot layout align parent button. And, and our background will be equal to color primary. Okay, so as you can see, it's currently showing up. So the other thing we need to do will be to set up our icon tint. So I'm going to say app item. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for our test color, right? So I'm going to say app item test color. And this should be equal to at color slash over white. So the last thing we need to do will be to set up the bottom navigation view menu. All right. But before we get to that point, let's go ahead and finish up our view pager. So for this one, I'm going to say android.layout above. And this will actually going to be above our bottom navigation view. Okay. So I'm going to say at plus id slash bmve okay this will suffice so the next thing we need to do will be to align our view pager to the top layout align parent top so i'm going to set this to true and the last but not the least layout behavior 
I'm gonna set this to at string slash at bar. So just go ahead and type this out. Okay, the last thing we need to do will be to define the menu of our bottom navigation view. Okay, so to do that, we need to go to our solution explorer and create a new file in our menu folder. Currently, we don't have a menu folder, so we just need to create one. Menu. So in our menu, let's create a new file, a new XML file actually. Okay, so I'm going to call this bottom nav. All right, so I'm going to say menu. Okay, so now we've defined all this, let's go ahead and create our menu. So to do that, I'm going to say item android.id this I'm going to call it action home so this will be the ID of this menu this is for our home yeah there's still some other stuff we need to set we need to set the title this will be home and we need to set up the icon so guys I've actually added the icons that we'll be needing in the icon resources for this class so I suggest you just download it and make use of it as well Okay, so let's go ahead and add our icons. So you can add it to our drawable folder. So it's on my desktop. Icon resources. Icons, right? So we'll be using 24 DP icons, okay? So let's just go ahead and highlight all this. Okay. So these are the four we'll be using. Okay, let's go ahead and add this. Bam. So it's been added, so we can now go ahead and make use of them. So for instance, I could, I could copy this, add drawable, slash. So we are done with that. Let's go ahead and set our endings page, which will be the nest. So the nest in line will be our endings page. I'm going to say item, Android. Hey, I'm going to call this Enint. And our icon will be equal to, and go ahead and copy this for payment. That's the one we're actually going to be using. So we're going to say a drawable slash payment. And we'll close our tag. So let's do for rating. It should roughly be the same thing, okay? without any difference. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to be fast with this. Okay, so now we are done with this. We're going to go back to our main activity XML and, and finalize with this. So what we need to do here will be to say app.menu will be equal to at menu slash bottom nav. This is all we need to do. Okay, so before we get into any of the thing, let's go ahead and build our app. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, had an issue here, right? So we need to change this. Drawable. Drawable. Okay. So that will solve the problem. So we can now go ahead and rebuild again. Okay, so our build is successful. Boom, as you can see, these guys are actually showing up here.
So let's run our app and see this in action. So our app is starting. Boom. Okay. So guys, everything is just exactly how we want it, except that this wasn't supposed to be here. So this is good. Okay. So this is just what we want to have. We're going to remove this and every other thing will be fine. So let's go ahead and remove that. So instead of having this theme as app theme, we're going to change this to Uber theme. Okay. So this will go ahead and remove the action bar we are seeing currently. Okay. So let's just run it and see it in action again. Boom. So this is exactly how we want it, okay? So in further classes, we are going to be looking at how to add fragments to our view pager. So guys, see you in the next class.